Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about arrays. And we are going to talk about three types of arrays which created by using the keyword array of and array list and also using the hash map arrays. So let's start. And of course, as usual, we are going to start with the main function with parameter string as or arrays as string. Okay? Now, to create a static array or array with fixed values, you can use the keyword array of. For example, sometimes the array will be consist of uh, values which are static or fixed, like the blood group, male or female, um, uh, some sections of your uh, college. So let's start with var, for example, blood group equal array of now a b o and of course a so this means create a variable called blood group but this variable assigned to the keyword array of this means the blood group will be converted to an array this array consists of four parts which are a b o and a b look at this i am not writing the keyword elements the element will be consist by default okay or will be created by default so how can we print the result of this array for x for example in blood group this means let's create a loop which is start from the first value of the array which is blood group to the last value of this array so if we write something like print len x this means the x will start from a then p then o and lastly with a b let's try this one as you see here the result will be a b o and a b of course if you need specific values you can use the index like the other programming language for example x then one for example uh, not x sorry it is blood group blood group one means the second value in the array which is b so if we run this example yeah as you see the last value is b okay so this how can we create a static array or fixed array now what about using dynamic array which the user can add any value or remove any value at runtime so in this case you should use the keyword array list so in this example i have created a variable called book and assign this variable to the keyword array list with data type string and using the brackets at the end so this is the way to create a list okay var books equal a list then define the data type of this array list then using the bracket at the end how can we add any values for example books dot add for example kotlin in action okay um, books dot add for example kotlin with android anything okay so again how can we print the values of this array similar like that fixed array for y in books brentlen y let's try this one right click run yeah as you see here kotlin in action and kotlin with android the last type of array which is the hash map the hash map is an array consists of two values which is key and value two parts for example i need to create an array to store the student name with the mark or the employee name with the salary for example var emp equal hash map 
and the data type is string and integer. I'm going to store string, which is the name of the employee, and integer, which is the salary of this employee. So how can we add a value to this array? Just write something like emp dot boot. What's the key? The key is the employee name, for example, Ali. What about the salary? The salary, for example, matter 5,000. OK. Again, another one is, for example, Ahmed with 3,000. How can we print the result of this array? This array has two parts, which is key and value. So to print the key for Z, for example, in emp dot keys. This means I need to print only the keys. So print len Z. So it will print Ali and Ahmed. Let's try. Yeah, as you see here, at the last of the result will be Ahmed and Ali. What about the salary? Same thing. Print len the name of the array, then between the bracket, use the key, which means EMB Ali. EMB Ali means 5,000, then EMB Ahmed, which means 3,000, which means the value of Ali and the value of Ahmed. Let's try this again. Yeah, as you see here, Ahmed with 3,000, Ali with 5,000. So in this video, we have talked about how can we create arrays using the keyword array of, how can we create an array list, and of course, how can we create a hash map. See you next video.